Hello, my name is Pat Devlin and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and video and a review on the Halper VT03G, which is a multi-line level. It's got uh, three plugins that it's leveling. So uh, I bought this Halper VT03G from the Halper.com website. They have a warehouse in the US and shipping is free. Shipping usually arrives in two to five days on anything that's in stock in their warehouse. If it's not in stock in their warehouse, it will take around 12 days to get there. So let's uh, open this up and see what's in here. Okay, so one of the first things we see is the laser itself. This is the laser level. And it does come with a little stand, a little tripod, so that you can set it up and use it. Looks like the legs swing out so you can get a wider base. So you can mount it on that. And there's also a laser receiver. This is a, the LR-6 RG. And this is used, so if you're leveling a yard or digging a foundation or something, you can put this on a pole, set it up, anywhere up to 65 meters away from the actual level and it'll read the green laser. And it kind of tells you if you're too high or too low so that you know where to adjust to, to get your reading. This is a green laser, so it's uh, four times brighter than the red lasers, but even so in outdoors, sunny conditions, can't really see the laser that far, but with this device, you can get a reading on it up to 65 meters away. So that's nice to have, and this is uh, the holder for it so that you can mount, mount this device on a ruler or a story pole, whatever you're using, a, a normal surveyor pole, to measure the height of things if you're grading a, a foundation or anything you need to try and get everything level. So this is a nice device that comes with it. Let's see, we got two manuals, one for the actual laser and one for the receiver. And there's a, a manual, this is a magnetic um, laser, kind of wrapped up in here pretty good. This is a kind of a manual, one of these, you can this makes it easier to see the level. If you're in a relatively short distance, the laser will show up on here and you won't need to get the pole. This also has magnets, so you can stick it on anything magnetic to kind of hold it in place and get you reading. Uh, this is the power, power adapter and charger for the battery, which is uh, inside here. And in case you're not somewhere that has power, if you're on a job site without power, you can actually put four AA batteries in this adapter and put it in here and keep using the device even if you don't have a place to charge. I think that's about everything in here. There's one more little uh, right angle laser reader that comes with it. So why don't we set this up and go through a few of the features. Okay guys, I've charged the battery, installed it in the bottom of the handle. There's a handle right down here in the bottom, there's the battery compartment. So now we can uh, try powering this up and see what happens. Turn it on, it's uh, blinking red, which I think means it's trying to level. 
Now it's a solid red light on the LED here on top of the device. So that means that we've got a horizontal level line coming out of the top. There's three other buttons on here other than the power button. The, the next one down uh, is the pulse button. So you can push it once and put it into pulse mode. When it's in pulse mode, the laser receiver will work with it. If we turn it on and then put it in the green laser line. You can see that it's reading the laser. It's supposed to work up to 65 meters from the level, so that's a nice thing to have. This is the device to mount it to a pole, so that seems to be working. So that is just the horizontal level line. To turn that off, there is a H button for, the, for horizontal, that'll just turn off the horizontal line. The V button will turn on the x-axis, and if you hit it again, the y-axis. So we now have these two lasers showing a grid. So you can use this to square up anything that you're trying to square up. Um, you can use it on the walls, like behind me here. If you're laying tile, you can use that line to get your tile runs. Of course, if you turn on the horizontal line, you can also use it to uh, lay tile that way as well. So anything you need to square up, the two vertical lines will let you get to square. Um, I'll show you a little later. I'll move the camera around and show you the horizontal and vertical lines crossing like they are right here. So you can use those to get anything squared up. Um, this Electronic uh, level self-leveling, you can see the red lights on, the laser is solid. Um, we're still in pulse mode. If I take pulse mode off, the laser light gets brighter. So there's two things that happen with the pulse mode. One, when you're in pulse mode, the laser receiver can uh, work with it. It also dims the green light when we uh, put that on. If we take it off, it gets brighter. Um, one thing that does for you when it dims it, in addition to working with the reader, is it does preserve your battery life and lets it run longer. Uh, that's about it. The, the self-leveling mechanism, when, the, when that red light stops flashing, it means it's leveled. Now, if you want to work on a non-horizontal line, if you, you can put it into manual mode by holding down the pulse button for a while until it's flashing. And then you can, you know, if you're putting in stair rails or something, you can set this to whatever angle you want and uh, use it that way. When it's in, when it's not level, You'll see it's blinking occasionally. That blinking is telling you that it's not level. And if, if you're uh, relying on it to be level, you shouldn't because uh, you're currently in manual mode and you're out of level. Put it back down, take it out of that mode, put it back into self-leveling. off and back on to get out of that. Okay, so now we should be back into level mode and that would be a level line around. So let's let's take a little closer look at the case. The uh, it's a hard shell protective case with lots of padding on the inside to keep everything safe and secure. The uh, Equipment will not get damaged if you're hauling it to a job site or just storing it somewhere in your home. It's nice and safe and well protected. Then just a couple things on the unit itself. We, uh, we hadn't actually looked 
closely at the controls before. I just want to kind of point out where those are and what they look like. So the controls on, are on the unit themselves. There's the power button, which turns it on. The LED will flash red while it's leveling, and when it gets leveled, it goes solid. And then the next button down is the pulse button. So that's sending the pulse signal that the uh, laser reader can identify. And that also will, that button, if you hold it down for three seconds, will switch you into manual mode. So you can do things that are not on a level line, on a horizontal line. Then there's the horizontal, and pushing this will turn off the, the green horizontal level and then turn it back on if you hit it again. The vertical button will turn on first the y-axis and then if you hit it again the x-axis so you can see that you've got both laser lights going now. And uh, that's about it. That's Okay guys, I uh, just want to give a brief review having used this tool for a couple of projects now. Um, I just built a pergola and uh, was able to use this to find where the four posts needed to be dug. And then once the holes were dug, I uh, used this to set the height of the concrete form so that all the posts were starting at the same level. And then uh, once the forms were in, used it again to set the precise location of the four bases, the post bases, so that everything was perfectly level, or perfectly square, all four posts were uh, square. And then uh, was able to set this up on a ladder at about uh, nine feet high to set the location of the beams on the four posts. So with just one setup, I could stick the four posts up nice and level, or the beams up nice and level, and the project was done. So I think overall this is a great tool. It's uh, certainly worth the price. The price I paid on, uh, help, on the helper.com website was $277 for everything in, in the whole kit, which is a really good deal when you get the tripod base, the um, laser receiver, and the unit itself. Uh, along with that padded case that really is a nice way to store it and carry it around. So I think um, it's just a really good deal compared to the Bausch um, three plane level. It's uh, much cheaper and works great. They also have a two year warranty on the product. So I think that uh, we're pretty well covered from that standpoint. I, I think it's a great tool. I recommend it to anyone that's looking for a multi-plane level.